Hey, how's it going everybody? So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a quick unboxing. Now this unboxing is gonna be of this Sabrent enclosure. So the reason I actually purchased this enclosure is because I wanted to technically buy myself an enclosure, not an enclosure, but more of a like an external hard drive. And the more that I was looking at it, I was like, okay, what's the most inexpensive way that, that I could go ahead and achieve that goal? Now, I completely forgot that recently I actually upgraded my system. So the main OS hard drive that I was running on it was a one terabyte NVMe drive. And of course I upgraded it to a two terabyte NVMe drive, which was a gen four. So that's why I was like, wait a minute. It's like, I have a one terabyte, just technically just collecting dust. All I need is an enclosure. And that's technically the story of why I decided to go right ahead and grab this product. Now, uh, from what I've been seeing, uh, it's uh, a tool free enclosure. So you really don't need anything whatsoever there. Um, it doesn't really require external power, which is pretty good. So you won't really have to, you know, be lugging around, you know, power cables or anything like that. It just basically grabs the power via USB-C. So nonetheless, let's go right ahead and unbox this. Here, of course, we have a closer look at the box. So this is a USB type C tool free enclosure for M.2 PCIe NVMe and SATA SSDs. So. There we go. So you, uh, this will work on Windows, Mac OS, as well as in Linux. And the interface is a USB type C. If I'm not mistaken, I actually saw that in the website, you can actually, or this USB type C is able to basically transfer 10 gigabytes per second. This is basically a shot of the box. So features tool free, quick install and remove SSD without any tools. Aluminum case with ABS frame. Compatible with sizes 2230, 2242, 2260, 2280. Plug and play, no additional drivers required. Bus powered, does not need an external power supply. Package content, USB type C tool free enclosure, USB type C type C cable, and of course the user's guide. All right, so let's see. Let's see what we got. So see, spread the love online. All right, so in the back of this card, you have Sabrin has you covered. Extend your warranty to two years. Register at, and then gives you where you can go ahead and register this. Well, there we go. And here is, of course, a user manual. So I presume it gives you all the info on how to go ahead and set this up. Let's see, what's, uh, what's this red stuff? Let's see, make sure you disconnect the cable before opening the enclosure. So, all right, yeah, so make sure you don't you don't have power going through it before you uh, decide to take that uh, NVMe hard drive out. Uh, it looks pretty simple, so just open, you know, slide in. I think there there has to be something there that, that automatically just secures it. Oh, sweet, so yeah. All right, cool. So it looks like, um, yeah, you technically get everything that you need. Right here, uh, it shows you some instructions on how to activate the drive. So you could go into disk management. All right, cool. There it is. And here, of course, is the main event. So, um, cable isn't that long. It was like, it's just, it's just small. So I believe I have longer cables, so which is, which is good for me, but I mean, if you're going to be using this on a laptop, I don't I don't expect you to be needing a long cable. So there we go. So you got that cable right there. All right, sweet. So we got the cable there. I think this is what is this? Is this to secure it? I presume. So you got this little looks like it's plastic. So you got this one here. I'm not going to take it out yet. Just because, of, just in case if I, I lose it, I don't want to lose it. And we got the enclosure. All right, so here we have a closer look at the enclosure. So it is aluminum. Uh, so there it is. So cool. So it looks like uh, probably a status light right here. Of course, the USB port. And let's see. So this looks like this is just, oh, nice. So it just basically click on that. And just like that, it just opens. 
sweet. All right. So let's see. Let me see if I can figure this out. And then we'll go ahead and mount it. Oh, I forgot to show you. So this is uh, the one terabyte NVMe drive that I was talking to you about. So I haven't really formatted this drive. I believe it still has my, op my operating system on it, or I should say my old operating system on it. So I'll go ahead and basically walk you through on how to format this as well at the very end. All right, so reading the instructions now, um, a little bit better than just glancing at them. So this little plastic right here is actually for the uh, M.2s that are the 2260, the 2242, and the 2230, which are the smaller NVMe drives. So uh, let's just say they, you know, you slide it in here and let's just say this is what you use to go right ahead and secure the actual drive itself. Now for mine, I really won't need that part. So all I got to do is just basically slide this right in. All right. So let me go right ahead and try sliding this in. So there it is. There we go. And secure it. I guess that's, that's it, right? Yeah, there it is. So it's just secure. I thought it was going to go actually all the way, but I guess it doesn't really allow you just because... Oh yeah, here we go. So I don't know if you could see this a little bit, but let's see if I can show you. So there is a little tab right there that just basically stops right there in the edge. So this is technically when it's completely locked. Cool. All right. So that's pretty cool. It's like, it's just basically no tools required. And all you got to do is just go ahead and close it, clicks, and it is good to go. Hey, so this is me from the future. I actually just realized that when I was actually editing this video that I forgot to take out this little uh, plastic here. So I have to take this out. So by taking that out, it's actually gonna go right ahead and have better contact with the NVMe drive. And at that point, it's gonna go right ahead and actually assist in cooling. So yeah, I completely forgot to do that. So anyways, uh, back to the video. One thing of course that Unfortunately, if your laptop or desktop doesn't have uh, a type C port, you're technically going to need to find an actual USB adapter. Now, let me go ahead and show you exactly what adapter you'll need. So you're going to need something like this. It's just basically a converter. So it's just for USB type C to USB type A. Now, this one I actually use for my VR headset because the computer that I have in the living room uh, doesn't have a USB type C connector. So I have to use this little uh, Adapter to go ahead and get that working. So for here, just go ahead and click and Let me go right ahead and basically connect this Hard drive to my actual computer and then we'll go ahead and format this hard drive Okay, so now that I have it connected you do see that there is the actual status light So let me go right ahead and bring up my desktop Let's go right ahead and open up device manager. So if you're actually trying to do this with a brand new um, hard drive that you just, you know, bought off of Amazon or Best Buy or wherever you you got, you got it, you're going to need to bring up uh, disk manager. So let's go right ahead and do that. Now, how I get in there is I actually go into file explorer. So I go here and then I go into this PC. And then I do see, more options, manage. And then you'll go right ahead and get this window. So you go to disk management. My system looks a little bit different than possibly your system's going to look. So I have a bunch of hard drives that I actually use. So these uh, little like blue uh, or greenish ones, uh, those are the RAID array that I have for my data. Then I have, of course, uh, disk three, which would be my actual, you know, OS hard drive. And then at the very bottom, you're going to actually see that we have recordings. Now, I know I said that this was my OS hard drive. I guess I was mistaken. I think this was the actual hard drive that I would write everything to when I, were, when I was doing videos. So it has a bunch of video stuff, but that's fine. Let's go right ahead and basically walk you through what you might technically see. So I'll just go right ahead and, you know, delete the volume. It's going to go right ahead and look like this. All you got to do is right click, uh, new simple volume, hit next. Uh, this is just basically, you want to use the whole volume, hit next. 
of course, uh, assign the following drive letter. And then here you could go right ahead and technically change the file format if you want. And you can actually change this right here. So let's just do uh, USB drive. There we go. And then, yeah, we'll just do a quick format and finish. There we go. So now it's formatted and it's ready to be used. So now I could just start, you know, creating file files or if you want to go right ahead and basically uh, start moving things in there, you could go right ahead and do so. Alrighty, everybody. Well, that is the end of this unboxing. Like always, I really do hope you enjoyed the video and we will catch you on the next one.